Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Latitude 3380 model. The regulatory model for this one is a P80G001. That information can be found on the bottom of the laptop on the sticker or inside the BIOS or on the box. In this video, I'm going to take you on step by step how you can open it up and how you can add, remove and upgrade the RAM on this laptop. This laptop, unfortunately, this exact model only has one RAM DIMM available. So if yours has only one RAM DIMM, so I'll put the compatible RAM that we use in the video description. We have upgraded to a 16 gig RAM without any problem. I made a short video how to check your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop. I'll leave that link in the video description based on what's your maximum RAM capacity based on the generation of the CPU. There come variety even with the same model. So check that link to know what's the maximum RAM capacity and this video, how to get to it and how to remove, how to add it. Just remember by removing the RAM and replacing it, upgrading it, you're not going to change any configuration. It's going to be just plug and play. So that's no need to do any more extra configuration. All right, before we do anything, you wanna power off the laptop and flip it upside down. We're gonna be using an iFixit screwdriver set. And from this tool set, we are gonna use a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an operating tools and some tweezers. If not, just grab yourself a guitar pick. The metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with these two on hand, we're gonna get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, once you see all these screws in the middle, hidden ones right here, the screws will not come out entirely. So you just have to rotate and you're gonna feel like it is not coming out because it has a little bump on it. So it, it will prevent it from coming out entirely. If you pull on them and you pull them really hard, it will come out, don't worry about it. You can just push them back in and screw it. So because there's, a, there's something called a bottleneck on the plastic cover. So it won't come. All you need to do is just rotate and leave it. Once you feel like it's wobbly, just that means it's done. Do this to all the screws in the corner, mid, in the corners. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. Now we loosen up all the screws. What you want to do here, we are going to start from the back corner. You want to stick the opening tool in the between the covers and you want to just snap it like that. Go in the back right here, right by the covers and rotate in the other corner and flip it like that. Once you did the back corners, you can grab them from here and put your thumb on the hinge and pull them up and it will release the power. All right, and down here we can see the single RAM dim right in here. There's no space on the other side of the motherboard for a secondary RAM or anything like that. To remove the RAM, just remember, you don't need to disconnect the battery to remove the RAM, but if you want to be paranoid and you're those ones that you think you're flimsy, go ahead to disconnect the battery by pulling this jack backward, then it will disconnect, but you don't need to do this. If you want to upgrade the RAM, just push it back in straight. To remove the RAM, you want to pull these two triggers away from each other and the RAM should come up like this in a 45 degree angle. All you want to do is just grab it and slide it back in a 45 degree angle. Okay, and there's no extra RAM dim or anything like that. This one is an 8 gig, you can grab a 16 gig, these are DDR4. You want to make sure the notch on the RAM right in here. Okay, this notch has to match the notch right on the dim. So if I bring it back down in a, this position, I cannot put it in because the notch is not matching. There's an offset right there. So you want to rotate, bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the connector, and then simply push it towards the motherboard and you're going to see these two triggers open and close automatically. That means the RAM is in place. If your RAM is not all the way inside the jack and you put it down, no matter how hard you press on this one, they're not gonna slide. You can even break it, but it will not slide. You have to go all the way inside the dam, and when you push it towards the motherboard, it has to be really soft and smooth, right there. Once these triggers are straight, that means the RAM is in place. If you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in, 
Now you want to grab the bottom cover, bring it over, set it down, push the corners, push the front, the back, and the last thing down here is to just tighten up the screws on the bottom cover. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your RAM upgrade for your Dell Latitude 3380. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom of the screw.